Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to make this yummy mouth-watering starter. It is known as Cheetos Chicken Starter. In my house, this is one of the favorite starter. Kids love it too much. If you try this, I'm sure your kids are also going to love it. So now your Yashwir is going to help me. He is my elder one. And now we have just air fried the chicken properly. Then you have to dip it in a dry flour made of all-purpose flour, some rice flour, and some salt for taste. Then you have to dip it in the egg. You have you need to add some salt to the egg also for the coating purpose. And then after that egg dip is done, then the powdered or uh, which you have made of the Cheetos. So now you you can take any flavor of Cheetos which is available in the market. You just have to grind it and make it like this. And then the last coating is of our Cheetos. Then once your oil is hot, you have to just dip in and shallow fry. Do not. Uh, deep fry this chicken because we have already you know cooked it well in the air fryer right so you just need to shallow fry the coating and once it is done you will see in the end of the video how tasty and how crunchy it has come out so by the time mama has kept this chicken ready for the lunch and we are heading towards our starter which just so you can see the one side is almost done now we'll just toss it over and then fry it on the other side so now what we had done is we were frying it on a medium flame but it turned the color little brownish you know so to keep the color intact i will advise you to fry this on a lowest flame which you have in your gas range so that will fry your chicken also make it crunchier and the color will also not changed for the starter specifically because if the color is good it is more tempting isn't it so just try to fry it on the lowest flame in your gas available so here the fly, frying process is almost done now as we tend to not waste even a single uh, vegetable or any food you know at home now kids are you know die hard fan of those spices and um, the chips right so here you can see ashwin is not uh, even in a mood to waste this uh, the crunch of the cheetos so he has made this patty like thing and now the way he is you know uh, putting the edges together together was mind blowing to see so here this is just a cheetos uh, patty and that is the last frying we are going to do and again we have done it on a low there Did you hear that sound? It was so crunchy, and yes, the taste was really good. Uh, but then, yes, it becomes a bit of oily. But then, kids love it. Now, come on, let's head towards the plating process. The this is a fiery peri sauce which we got with our you know pizzas which we order out online from that. So that is a sauce of fiery peri, and this is a homemade sauce we'll be making. Now here you can see we are adding mayonnaise, whichever you have veg or non veg you can take it according to your taste. And this is a Caesar dressing, so this will add flavor to the mayonnaise. So only these two white sauce we are going to combine to make a dip. red sauce and white sauce is ready and we'll be plating now you can see which we fried on the higher flame it become a little darker crunch is really really awesome in all three chicken wow isn't it so tempting yes it was and here you can see how well the chicken has cooked inside and the coating is really very well fried and it was crunchy enough So you just have to dip it and then try. It was very hot, but uh, yes, he liked it. It seems you can see it on his face expressions. And now this is just a Cheetos patty, the last patty which we made. So yes, this was our recipe. I hope, friends, you all have enjoyed watching, and do try it at home. I'm sure the kids are going to love it. So the tip here is if you don't want or if you don't get that Cheetos uh, packets you can always try some other coating which will give the crunch to, to the starters so the options are like corn flakes if you have at home you need to grind them and make it in a fine flour then you just have to coat it with your chicken and then it is ready to dip so this is another option you can try other than the Cheetos or any chips coating you can do at home 
so friends i hope you all have enjoyed watching the video and will be trying this recipe at home for your kids so thank you so much for sticking together i will see you all in the next video which will be posting in the next coming week thank you take good care everyone bye